So if we look at a Kubernetes cluster, it has two main components, control plane and worker plane. And some of the main component of control plane is API server, controller manager, and scheduler. And your worker plane is typically EC2 worker nodes where your application will be running. Now let's say you, the almighty developer, submits this Kubernetes manifest file where the kind is deployment. This is a very, very popular kind where you create your container. So in this case, we are creating Nginx version 1.16 and three replicas. So how this works is, as soon as you run kubectl apply dash f and this manifest file, that request actually goes to the API server and this controller manager has separate controllers for different kinds. So in this case, the kind is deployment and the controller knows what it needs to do to with this kind deployment. So in this case, working with scheduler, it creates three pods in the worker plan under this deployment because the replica is three. Similarly, whenever you submit other manifest files with kind such as namespace, service, etc., the controller knows what to do with all these kinds. With namespace, it can create a separate namespace. With service, it can create a load balancer service or other kinds of service, etc. Because all of this kind or Kubernetes object is defined when you run a Kubernetes cluster. Now, what if you say, I really like this Kubernetes thing. I want to deploy an object like Lambda using kind colon function. So this is your manifest file where the kind is function. So you submit this and it goes to the API server, but the controller has no idea what to do with this kind function because this object type function does not come with default Kubernetes. It is a custom object. So you need to tell Kubernetes what to do when someone submits of kind colon function. So that's where AWS controller comes into play. So to work with this custom object such as function, you need to do a deployment. And this deployment will create a custom controller as well as CRD or custom resource definition. And together, this is AWS controller for Kubernetes or SEK. So this deployment will create a pod which is Lambda controller along with the CRD or custom resource definition. I put CRD outside of this EC2s because EC2 is like AWS construct and CRD is a logical construct. So it's not really running inside a pod or anything. But the CRD or custom resource definition defines if someone submits a manifest file with the kind function, go do this, create this Lambda function, etc. So you need to write some sort of code to tell Kubernetes what to do and how to do it. For SEK or AWS controller for Kubernetes, AWS is giving you the code so you don't need to do anything. You just run this deploy and then it's done. So at this point, this Lambda controller pod is constantly watching if there is a kind function kind of object being submitted. So in this case, it is. So it is going to work with the CRD to know what it should do. And then it reads from the manifest that you submitted, and then it can go and define AWS Lambda. So one thing to keep in mind, this Lambda controller pod needs to read the Lambda deployment package, either from S3 bucket for, as a zip file or as a container image from ECR. So it needs to have access to read the Lambda deployment package, as well as the access to deploy, update, delete AWS Lambda. So you do that using IRSA. And during my demo, I'll show you how it's done. And another advantage, if something goes wrong, you can always open an AWS ticket and AWS will help you troubleshoot this. Similarly, Lambda is not the only controller you can have, right? Using this same flow, you can create S3 bucket so instead of a Lambda controller, you will have a S3 controller and the CRD will define what it needs to do if someone submits with a kind bucket. So in this case, this 
controller pod needs to have access to deploy update delete bucket so the pod can read any manifest file with kind bucket and go create this bucket. I just released an official AWS blog going over this particular topic along with hands-on demo. I'll give the link to my blog in the description. Please check it out.